Father's Day a little less than four weeks away, and if Dad is looking for some electronics, we know the guy to recommend some. Dr. Frank Vigiano is here with some help, and he's a professor of electronics at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Frank, thanks so much for coming in and thanks bringing all this again. stuff. Appreciate it. Now we're going to talk about DTV. Yeah, in other words, I know in the broadcasting area, we are all yeah. can't wait till June 12th to make it happen. A uh, few of the diff few, what we find are the people that have these boxes, and one out of every three homes has a box. 37 million people have these. Mm -hmm. Problem is, we're getting emails that they do not know how to hook them up. There's a great website, uh, brand new, called connectyourbox.com. Connectyourbox.com. Go there, easy. and it's going to step you through. What I'm going to do this morning, real quick, is I'm going to show our viewers basically okay. how easy it is because it's only two steps. Well, let's do it. Okay, great. Now you'll see the digital box here that I have in front of me. This is the this is basically the $40 credit card from the from the government. But I'm going to turn the box around and show that basically. What we have on the back, as you can see, we have the input here from the antenna. So the antenna is going into the box here, and this happens to be a Zenith box. It then leaves the box and comes out into the television set. And if you take a look at our TV, which is over here next, I'm going to show. Basically, you can see the loop, and it comes right into the back of the television. So just like it normally is, you can see, and it says antenna or cable in. Very simple. So two steps, two cables, right? And, you know, just turning this around, you can see I have it all set up, and I have it set up on Channel 9, actually. So well, kinda, we love that. We're kind of like looking at ourselves. <laughs> well, uh, you know, what I can't get over is the rabbit ears are back. Right. A lot of people just, it blows their minds. They yeah. go, wow. And there are high definition rabbit ears that are out there, very inexpensive, mm -hmm. $20, $25, that you can purchase to hook up to the TV. So, two things. Try your old antenna first. Okay. Okay. There is a, there is a site. The government has a sponsored site to tell you a little bit about an antenna and to see if yours currently works. If it doesn't, you can buy these for $20 and up, very inexpensive, mm -hmm. connected directly to the box and the box of the TV. Now, if you have satellite or cable, you're fine. You don't need a digital converter box. But if you don't, and many people don't, there's right. millions of people that don't, and they still want to watch Channel 9. Right. Bottom line is we want to make sure they know how to do that. And those are some affordable ways to do so. Absolutely. You mentioned this was the Zenith. How much does that cost? This, they run $59, and then, of course, with the government-sponsored coupon, which I'm going to hold up here, if, uh, if our viewers have a ten if they if they have one of these coming because a lot of people apply for them mm -hmm. and they're still delivering them you can basically buy the box for nineteen dollars. Well, let's talk about some of the other stuff you have brought Great. in. Great suggestions. For this Father's is this Day. is D D this is called DTV Pal, okay. and this is a digital video recorder. It's by Dish Network. The thing that I like about it, based on the product, is there are other manufacturers out there, but they require a subscription. This okay. is the only manufacturer. So that's no subscription. No subscription, right? And you're talking a hard drive, two hundred forty-nine dollars. You have about oh, about thirty hours of high definition, one hundred and sixty hours of standard yeah. definition, so you can record on it. A lot of people like to do that. I'm intrigued by this device. What is this? Very, very cool. I really like that. Um, what we're going to do? Let's just turn it on so our audience can see it, and I'll hold it up. We'll get a close-up of it. This is by Doro. It is really neat. It's one of the neatest phones that I've found, and I want you to see what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to basically. Put some digits in. Look how look how large the digits They're are. They're big. See big big digits here. Good big for grandpa. There. So grandpa, hearing impaired as well as sight impaired. Excellent phone. Great quality, and um, the only one that I've found is that lightweight. Okay. What about these sunglasses? What makes They're, these special? Well, what makes them special? Maui Jim probably has the best opti optics in the business for over the counter type Ooh, sunglasses. These are nice. Yeah. And look at these. These are really look at these look at the style on these Those guys. Are special. Aren't they nice? Yeah. So you've got a guy's pair that you had there, gal's pair. But what's interesting is people are looking for high quality products. More importantly, too, when you go to clean them, do not use a Kleenex or, okay. or toilet tissue like this stuff, but you want to use a microfiber cloth. This is microfiber because okay. it won't scratch the lenses. Let's talk about this camera. Great. This is by Casio. The neat thing about this and what I really like, it's a, it's a uh, 10 megapixel camera, but what is really neat, it's a 5x optical zoom. Now, what does that mean? It brings the objects five times closer to you. Most cameras are 3x. Mm. This is 5x for as small as it is. You can see how compact the size. It's beautiful Very, camera. very small. And it also will take 1,000 frames of video. Wow which is very quick and very accurate, and a lot of people are taking video with their cameras today. Well, you know? last item, last but not least, what is this special This item is great. Right here? Th yeah, this is, this is called the K-Lite. It's solar. Now, you take this solar cell that you can see, all right, mm -hmm. and that solar cell plugs into the back of the light to charge it, so there's an internal battery. And you've got to, you've got to see. Now, what happens after this solar cell is plugged into the uh -huh. light? I'm going to turn it on. Look how bright this Ooh, is. Oh, that is bright. Isn't that Ooh. amazing? <laughs> so it becomes a lantern. And you've got two different levels, level one, level two. And what's neat is you t if you basically screw this off, you now have a flashlight. So all in one. But what I love about it, solar, green, Wonderful. You know, and no batteries to waste. Thank you, Dr. Frank. As always, we Pleasure, appreciate Jessica. it. Thank you for having me. And let's find out what Kim has in store for your Memorial Day weather today, Kim. All right. We're taking you traveling.